Hi, I'm Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com, just sitting here in some of nature's beauty. Uh, you want some of the cleanest water you'll ever have in your life? Fresh snow. Whew. Love it. You know, out in nature, you might need to figure out, how do I sharpen things? How do I keep my knife sharp? Maybe it's a survival situation. Maybe you have the sharpener, which I hope is the sharpened spark, okay, and you don't have a knife. Start looking for a piece of tin, look for something off of a roof, uh, you know, look for something off of a wall, a uh, piece of sheet metal, a little piece of uh, flat bar, things like that. I'm going to show you today a little bit about how I would make a knife sharp, so I picked up a butter knife, and I'm going to show you how to make a butter knife sharp in a very short time, could be three to five minutes if I'm not really hurrying, you know. And um, right now I'm interested in sharp, not exactly the time that it takes me, because if you're lost stranded out somewhere, you probably have a little extra time. I'm going to just put this one on my leg, okay, the sharpened spark, okay, sharpened spark. It's got the spark in the handle, it's got a reshaper right here, and on this side it's got what I call the open face. The open face is two 90 degree corners made out of tungsten carbide. You know, it's quite a bit harder than the knife, and uh, we'll just kind of leave it at that because there's a lot of debate on hardness of tungsten carbide. All I know is it's like a machinist, okay? You got the uh, lathes, you got the mills, things like that. And this is more like a mill in my hand, tungsten carbide, okay? So I'm gonna use, you can see it's round. This is the back. This is the, the cutting edge, okay? This is the part that you would use, rounds up like that. So is it sharp? Well, it better not be or I'm gonna have a mess. because I'm actually pushing pretty hard. I can do this on my arm. I think you can see that my arm is actually indented like that. Okay, so yes, it is a butter knife, it is dull. So let's go ahead and start sharpening and, and uh, see how it works. But first, okay, let's see. Okay, I'm actually gonna make the paper rigid and I'm gonna do it like I was if I was actually trying to show a person that the knife was dull, okay? And all it's, all it's wanting to do right now literally is bend the paper and why wouldn't it? Because it isn't sharp at all. Nip, 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 you know, okay? So let's put the paper over here for a second. Let's put this on my leg and let's begin to sharpen, okay, the knife, the butter knife. So I'm gonna draw it through the V, just like this, and I'm just gonna go right along. Ooh, you ought to see the shavings that's starting to build up on my leg, okay? Just like that. Put, you know, good pressure on it, maybe a pound of pressure. Rotate it up as you go through like this. That's gonna work on the point of the knife also, the rounded part, the radius. If you're going to skin an elk or something like that with a dull <laughs> butter knife that you've just sharpened, you may want the uh, radius of the knife to be nice and sharp too. I don't know why you wouldn't. So we're just going to go along like this, and we're just going to cut an edge on the butter knife. Okay, just like that. It's not going to take very long. It only takes about a minute and 20 seconds or something like that to really start getting an edge on a butter knife and I'm cutting shavings off. It'd be fun to have a camera pointed right at my leg. You know, it's funny, I can smell what I'm doing here because the knife is actually getting hot. The little chips are hot. Friction is what's making those little chips hot. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna lighten up the pressure, just like that. That's gonna put a finer edge on it without ripping the metal off and curling the little tiny edge over. So we just touch it lighter. And I'm gonna do something I never do. I'm just curious. I wanna see what kind of an edge, and I'm just lighter and lighter and lighter. I'm gonna see what kind of an edge that I created on the knife without touching it with the open face to clean up the cutting edge. Everything I do is kinda of like a first time. I don't sit around and practice this stuff. I actually want to be just as surprised as you might be. I want to be surprised it didn't work. I want to be surprised like, holy cow, that really worked. All right, I don't phony up my videos. We don't shoot them, you know, half a dozen times. Okay, that one, actually, I am surprised and, and you can see it right here. All right, it's gonna take a little bit more time because uh, that knife is really thick. So, let's go ahead and, and uh, cut some more metal. Oop, there's a lot of metal on my leg. I don't know why it isn't sharp. All right, so we just go like this. I'm cutting off shavings that are about that long, three-eighths of an inch long, uh, little pigtail curly cues, uh, magnetic, because I'm actually making them magnet as I do this, magnetic. Will that make a nice smooth edge? No, it won't. It'll make a sharp edge. 
If I'm out and I'm lost, stranded, stuck somewhere and I need to make a knife out of something, absolutely couldn't care less what the cutting edge looks like as long as it cuts what I want to cut with it. Let's see if we're getting any closer. Yeah, we're getting a little closer. This is taking longer, okay? It is starting to cut. This is taking longer than some of the other videos because I put them on a rock, they're more solid, I go down through there. If you don't have anything more than, you know, basically your leg to work with, this is too flexible, okay? It's chattering, it's moving, it wants to lay over. The energy that I'm creating, pushing the two together, isn't really solid like it would be on a table, a rock, a tailgate, a bumper, a fence post, or something like that. But I just want to set here. I'm not going to take very long. It won't. And we're going to sharpen a butter knife just like this. Now, when it starts to get sharp out there on the tip, you certainly do not want to slip off, go down and pull it. You'll probably cut right through your pants, and you just might have a gash in your leg. So pay attention to what you're doing while you're doing this. Just like that. All right, we're going to check it again. Lots of metal shavings. That's a lot better. It's getting where it actually cuts pretty good. All right, we're going to go just a little more on the V. And I'm not hurrying like I would if I was actually in a race. Just like that. Reshape the blade. I'm running it through the V. That's what I do with the V. Reshape the blade. I personally don't use the V. My pocket knives, hunting knives, stuff like that, get sharpened with the open face. It's a lot nicer to the blade. Makes an evener, smoother blade. Makes a finer cutting edge. And my hunting knives, pocket knives, are not going to be at a 22 degree angle, which is about what this is set at. I want my knives, my hunting knives, pocket knives to be around 10, 12, 13 degrees. Woohoo! I'm telling you, I hope you can see it. That's pretty darn sharp. PDS right there, guys. And I haven't touched it with the open face yet to fine tune the cutting edge. So, let's fine tune it a little bit, see if we can see a, a visible, noticeable difference. We're going to go along like this. So, what I'm doing here is I have two edges, run right there, one right there. They're 90 degree corners. It's just a 90 degree corner. It's an edge, whatever you want to call it. You have a flat surface, flat surface, flat surface. That gives you two 90 degree corners. So I'm going to set it like this on there, and I'm going to match the bevel that I've created. Then I'm going to turn it approximately 45 degrees. I'm going to put the knife on my leg like this, and I'm going to slide it from the handle out to the tip. I don't have to go all the way out. I'll move towards the tip around the radius, just like this, right on around. And I know the knife's getting pretty sharp because when I flip it over, there's a little wire edge. The little wire edge standing up there is like little feathers sticking up there. So when I run the sharpener down it and it actually drags back, I know I'm cutting the wire edge off the blade. Only a really sharp knife will create, will, uh, eh, what do you call it? Yeah, create a uh, really fine little edge on there. So just brush along like that. Brush along here, around the radius, off the tip. Now I'm going to touch the knife even lighter, flipping the knife every pass, just like that. Why am I doing this and touching it so light? I'm going to polish that blade just a little bit. I'm going to polish the cutting edge. I want to polish back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, that little tiny micro burr, that wire edge, that burr, whatever you want to call it, off the blade as good as I can. Now let's see. We're probably running into five or six minutes here, so we better probably get it done. Holy cow. Would you look at that? That doesn't really surprise me. Okay, people say, but can you sharpen a knife from, from dull to sharp? If I can cut pieces off the blade, that'll take it down. If I can get lighter with my touch, take less of a piece off, that's starting to smooth the blade. If I use the open face to polish the blade, of course I can sharpen a knife from dull to sharp. And I can make them sharper and sharper and sharper. If I work on the knife for, say, 15 minutes, and I keep making it thinner and thinner and thinner, okay, and I get down to my 10 degree bevel or something like that, I'll make a knife. In fact, is yes, I'm going to do something. You won't be able to see it there, maybe. But I'm going to do what everybody does, lick the Oh, God, that bites. 
Oof, hang on. Oh my. Okay, now. <laughs> Somehow we're going to get this because the hair is absolutely missing off my arm. Uh, I'm going to pick this wad of hair up right here and I'm going to hold still. Okay. <laughs> you should see my arm. There's so much hair missing off of my arm. Uh, you know, and, and, and I'm not digging, I'm not ripping at it or anything. Oh. God, don't be careful, just, oh, just like that. Okay, that butter knife, again, just shaved off a wad of hair off my arm. You know what, when I say that I'm a little surprised, uh, it's always new to me because I do these things and then I check it. Hey, if it doesn't cut at all, I'm like, well, I should have worked better than that. If it just cuts the hair right off of my arm, I'm surprised because you go, holy cow, it really did get it sharp. You know, well, of course I expected it, but you don't expect it as sharp. So let's play just a little bit. Not much, just like this. I'm going to hurry it up just a little. My butter knives, you know what I'm going to do? I sharpen, we're going to sharpen like a dozen butter knives just for the fun of it. We're going to put them on my website and we're going to have a contest. And you're going to win one of my sharpened butter knives. Why? I don't know. Maybe you just want it. And you go, hey, I got one of Brad Buckner's uh, Sharpens Best butter knives that he sharpened, you know. And I won't. Okay, here's how you check, see if I'm lying or not. Take the knife, look at it, and you'll see a little wavy, a little railroad tracks, a little rough. It obviously wasn't done with a stone, a steel, Lansky, crock sticks, diamond impregnated. Uh, one of my most favorite little tools is, is a uh, belt sander called Work Sharp. Love that thing to death. You look at my blades and you'll see I sharpened it with a carbide. Okay, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. Go to YouTube slash sharpen, sharpensbest. It's just fun. We have a lot of fun stuff, a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of informative stuff. Good products, five different products. You got the round, the poker chip, the rectangle, you got the long handle, you got the sharpen spark, sharpen spark mini, and whether you believe in me or not, I'll teach you how to sharpen knives out in the field, at home, pruners, hedge trimmers, grass trimmers, side dykes, tin snips, so many different things. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. You take care and have a good day. <laughs> oh, yeah?